What's happening there guys? My name is Danger on PC. Now I'm here today to show you a little bit of a tutorial. Um it's just a little wire mod tutorial. That's on a slant. Um of a random number generator. Now there's gonna be a follow on video to this of an E2 random number generator. Not too more advanced, but I thought I'd begin with the uh beginner tutorial of using wire mod because it's a little bit simpler. So first what you want to do is go to the Q menu then you want to go to wire up here then you want to go to gates now I've already opened it but you want to go to arithmetic then random now what this does is it's as it says it's going to spawn a it's going to be a random gate um, so as you can see here in the text random from A to B so you're going to need an A value and a B value. So when you need values, most likely you always go for a constant value. Here we are under input and output. Now pick what no whatever model you want. You're going to need now the amount of uh, values that you need is two. So if we just slide that along, two. Now this is the bit where you can customize whatever you want. Um, I'm going to set my values as 0 to 100. So once you've done that, just come out of the Q menu and then just spawn it right next to there. Now the last thing you're going to need is something to display this number on. So you're going to want to go to visuals, screens and just a screen. Again, pick whatever model you want. Make sure that you have only one value clicked so then it will be a big value on the screen. That's optional, use bigger font. You need floss green value. Now this is important because with the random gate it will spawn, um, it will select decimals. So using a fl uh, floss green value will actually make it so it's always integers and no decimals. Uh, text A needs to be set to whatever you want it to appear as and create flat to surface. So let's just spawn that in. Awesome. So this is all you're going to need. Uh, now you want to go to wire advanced. Um, I prefer that my width is on zero, so then you know there's no confusion as to where everything goes. So it's just a lot simpler. So what you're going to want to do is it wants two inputs for the A and B for the range. So you're going to want input A as zero, input B as 100. And then, as you can see, it's picking random vari um, values. And then you're going to want inputs A from the text screen to go to the out. As you can see, it's extremely fast. We'll fix this in the E2 tutorial. Um, but as you can see, it's picking random values from 0 to 100. All whole numbers and all displayed. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure that you like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment of how you got on. I will try my best to fix any problems if there was any. Um, and yeah, peace out.